Welcome back to part nine, I believe, of our Game of Thrones playthrough here. It's been a while since I played it. Been on the back burner, doing a lot of other things. But you know what? Game of Thrones, the TV show, is back on the air. It's got me excited. It's got me hyped. And I'm ready. Ready to continue the journey. Continue episode two. I bet you episode three will be coming out soon here. Don't know if it's been announced yet, but it's got to be soon. Sound good? Uh, we're going to peak. Use a little stealth here. Can't just go breaking in. Nothing? Right, we're gonna open the door up now if they give us the option. Does not look promising. Things all over the floor. Why am I looking at the chest? I don't know. We're going to do it. Everything's still here. Hmm. Not a robbery. Means they have other motives. Other... Nefarious motives. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Hmm. Why would someone do this? Buff mark. Uh, it's not looking good. But, uh, you know. No one's hurt yet, it seems. That note, I know it's important. I'm gonna read that last. Always save the best up for last. Was someone going through my books? All right, I think we looked at everything. Let's just make sure. Good, good, kosher, kosher. All right. Good at note. Mira. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Hey, I don't know about that. A little, uh... That's how you get shanked in Game of Thrones universe. Messages like that. Meet me at midnight in the garden where no one can see. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, 
You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if <laughs> the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. How would you know? How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no obvious damage that... Enough, Maester. <laughs> when last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Let me handle it. Let me handle this, Mother. You're right. I'm sorry. Right, get off me. My lord, she's here. Oh boy, she, I don't know if she's gonna want me, man. Roderick? I'll beat up. You look. You're really. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. You gotta throw the sense of humor in there. Keep it light, Still man. Limbs and alpha face. <laughs> Please. Yeah, seems like she still likes him. You know, I mean, this is early. We just started talking, but. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Lena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's Good woman. Feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? I don't want to push uh, Be honest with me. the love agenda here. I don't mean to pry, but... I want to know what you're going through. Been better. Why? Gotta be honest. She's gonna be the future wife. Imagine. Gotta be honest. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Hey, she touched us. That spark's still there. Still there. But Roderick. I um I need to ask you something. Uh oh. When I arrived at Ironrath today. Your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? They punked us out, that's why. Has something happened. Hate to say it. Uh... We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No. He just wants to show our loyalty. See, we're going to be honest because... I'm going to be honest. I mean, you know, honesty is the best policy. I have but... always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. Ouch. He wants me to call it off. What do you want? And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my but... family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. Right, we can handle it. I once thought so too. I Don't leave us now. Critical. Don't Play do it. it. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Uh... Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. There we go. Okay. Gotta bust out the L word. That's the trump card. That's always the trump card. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. 
I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, the last is a true. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretch. Hopefully, he like. My father has not yet made a decision. Pimp well, slaps her or something. You can do much better than Only not cripple. because she doesn't want to get with us, just My because needs a they'll help their get family out. get into the war. <laughs> now, how rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me this to This douchebag. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. This family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Wow. Uh. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to. That's obey. right. See, that's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Answer this chump. So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Ah. Uh, Just do it, Roderick. This blatant disrespect. You don't want to we can't do it. Brother, do you? Please. You can't kiss this nothing. chump's ring. You can't you do it, man. See Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. A lord has to be a kiss lord. We can't do that. Screw I'm this not guy. kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. I bet he would have took it anyway. Day, he would have screwed us anyway. I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Wow, I'm... <sighs> Whatever, it's all right, man. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruin. <laughs> Isn't that clever? Hilarious. Get out of here. Name on your tombstone will be better, pal. He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. Hey, it's the What's house's Ryan pride. Going to think? That we've abandoned him. I couldn't kiss his ring in front of Elena. She would have understood. Out of here. Garbage. I kissing that guy's ring. He was gonna do that anyway. He was gonna punk us out anyway. He wasn't gonna come and take all the ironwood. He kissed his ring, please. Hello. Are you well? He's gonna, gonna kill. To kill that man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. He's done. Matter of time. Ash gets in town. We're going ham. Man, that guy's a chump. Like you can't help but hate that man. You just want to. You want to jump through the screen and choke him out. You can't be fighting with the other recruit. 
Jones. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us, without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black, and that's all you'll ever do. It's like this game just wants you to get Frostfinger told me kicked about on. You. Seems to think you might be trouble. He might be right. He won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You yeah. were there. At the Twins. Yes. Was. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one, could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. Good job, man. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes. And the next, the phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. Exactly. They Little smart give though. him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family too. They murdered my family. I'm there with you. I should have been there. Keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. Yep, yep. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. Ah, nice watch sucks. I mean, they're doing good. They're doing God's work up here, but it's horrible. I gotta let these guys have some women once in a while. I mean, you can't have a girlfriend up here. It's crazy. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Need Southerners some shore leave. Call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. <sighs> that view. Oh, I can walk now. That's cool. I like the transitions in here. They're so seamless. And we were just talking, and then our controlling it I felt the same first time I saw it I it sounded like he says sorry ranger. why why risk your life out there because winter's coming winter is coming <laughs> I want to fight you'll have your chance don't worry John's likes that answer he's like, hey. not many recruits want to be rangers They'd rather stay here, where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Hell no, no. Can yeah. you see past your differences? Uh, I'll stand with them. I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. All we got, man. I'd all say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. The life we have now, man. Man of the North. That's all we're gonna do for the rest of our lives. Might as well do it right, I guess.
Oh no, is this the midnight meeting? This makes me nervous. Somebody sends you clandestine notes, talk about let's meet at midnight in the hidden garden. That's just I mean I'm here, but where are you? Hopefully it's someone cool and not some weirdo. What was that? Creeped out. See, see, I knew it, I knew it. Damn! Calm down, calm down. Hey, 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 birds. Uh, -uh. who's this? No, we're not gonna call out. That's, that's too dangerous right now. Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night? Uh, on my way home? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? Hey. It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean... Now, if you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please. Did you not I didn't like any of those options. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't seem very... Uh... At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. Seemed kind of questionable, those answers. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Damien Sandow? Uh... Why are you here? You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the gardens? You do. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. Well, you left a note in a very messy way, man. Did you... Like, why'd you knock over all my stuff to leave I that am note? sorry about this, Mira. Uh-oh. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A Head back a few should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. Wow. I'd hate to see you suffer. Come on, Damien. What are you, what are you doing, man? <laughs> no! Okay. I wasn't ready for that one, but smart got it. <laughs> I knew this is gonna be bad. Wow, this guy... I didn't trust that guy, but he came through here. Right in the Achilles ankle. No, 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 we're gonna attack this guy. We're not running. Oh! <laughs> oh, the clavicle. Wow. You? What, what? What happened? What? What was that? He tried to what kill me. What does it me. look like? He tried to kill me. Why would he do that? You helped me. You saw what it. What are you doing you... here? Why are you questioning this? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. <laughs> what are we gonna do with the body, oh, though? I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabog. What? No one will ever find him. This kid. I ain't saying anything. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? 
Man, that kid is, uh... That kid's useful. Uh, we should be no, we're keeping it, because we toss... Well, I don't know, either way, it can be bad. We toss it. They're going to find it. Which I guess, you know what? They probably should have tossed it. They don't got the fingerprints back then. Could have got away with that, actually. Should have tossed that. They're probably going to find it in my room. I'm going to get screwed. My bad. I screwed that one up. Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while Step since off, lady. Met. Yes. I stand, I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asher for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you. Oh, do you now? I do you know, know your dad's a dick? Probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither no, he didn't. didn't. Listen. Your dad does. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this, it's something at least. So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. Uh... He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Damn your father! How dare he fill Ryan's head with lies! Calm yourself, Roderick. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. <sighs> alone. Ryan's in a grow up. family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. Strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until I come for it. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. Do you get Theon Greyjoy? I hope I can count on your discretion. Like, way worse. Roderick. You should speak to mother. She's still pissed off at me for not kissing that guy's ring. Mother. Sorry, Mom. Can't jump out like that. Us. He should be here. He should be Yeah, here he should. Family. It's not my but fault. Instead, they send her. Gwyn may be able to help us. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. Not gonna happen. My children. I won't, won't let that happen, happen to us. Give me eight months to heal you must up. Be ready right? to defend us, Roderick. Your body Come. may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds. Oh, no matter what you Madre. Do, promise me. You must protect them. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. 
Man, she just flipped the script on us right there. She's like, you will kill those babies in their beds. Would you say a few words, my lord? Oh, uh, here we go. What are we going to say? I didn't, I didn't think of anything. I didn't prepare anything. I don't like wing speeches. <clears throat> My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He was a beast of a man. Me what it is to be a lord. True, true. He was honorable. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Good words. Good word. Ah, oh, poor Ethan. My little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. I did a decent job. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. Now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron, Iron from ice. From ice. <laughs> Man, that screw job. This family has been screwed so hard. It's, I mean... I guess no one's had it as bad as the Starks, but they've had it pretty bad. Who should we burn first here? We gotta light Ethan up first. Dad gets to go out last. All of a sudden they tell us we did this horribly wrong. No! The father should have been first! You've damned them to hell! Burn them up, huh? You gonna sing? From eyes, from eyes, we first is born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn. To guard this rest you've earned I'd bear my neck to end in pain And swim the shivering sea Pain slavers pay in crimson rains To bring Oh, she made up the song. See that face there at the end? You see that face? That's the face of determination. That's the face 
if I'm gonna get you, sucker. Matter of time. We're counting down the days. <laughs> counting down the days. Going on. What is going on? Roderick, you have you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. My game is freaking out here. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. Man, these guys are still walking. catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for me to be worried about? What was that? Ash is not going to make it home until like episode six. Okay, you and 78% of players didn't forge Marjorie's letter. I think that was the right thing to do. Get us in a lot of trouble. You and 70% of players refuse to kiss Lord White Hill's ring. <laughs> That's right. Screw that guy. We're kissing that punk ring. You and 53% of players lost Roderick's betrothal to Elena Gilmore. What? You could have kept it? Aw, oh, man. That's messed up. You and 95% of players stood up for Cotter after he stole a friend's knife. You and 90% of players killed Mira's attacker. Yeah, you gotta kill that guy. Wow, I didn't know we could uh, save that patrol, though. That's too bad. Maybe we can get it back somehow, but I don't know. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, well, we all be. That's it for episode two. It's uh, picking up. I'm liking where things are going. I've sworn I've White Hill's sworn done. It's just a matter of time. Ramsey Snow, too. Actually, I don't know if we can touch Ramsey, but White Hill. That the dude's gone. We're taking him out. Asher's coming to town. Forrester forces are going to come together. We're going to make it happen. No matter what. Like you said, I don't care what I have to go through. I don't care how many babies I got to stab in their sleep. It's horrible, I know, but got to do what you got to do. Thank you guys for watching. This video is going up on YouTube later. If you guys want to catch up with the rest of the series, I'll be back as soon as episode 3 comes out. Have a good one, everybody. Peace. Steal with you